Hi, it's Neil McGovern here, and this is another video to explain how to get a better saxophone tone. And I'm just, again, I'm just going to talk about one small thing you can do, or, or not even something you can do today, but something just to accept. And that is that when you first put your reed on, it's not going to sound good. And I'd, I'd say it's probably not going to sound its best for about five minutes. So. This this is just something I'm going to show you now. I've just picked up a reed. I think it's a reed that I haven't played for uh, maybe five days or so. So what I'm going to do, you can see you can see what it looks like at the moment. It's it's a nice Van Doren uh, V12 strength three and a half, but it's uh, it it's, it looks perfectly straight and very nice at the moment. But let's see what happens when I moisten it. This is what you should always do, moisten all over. And you see at the end, it, you might notice it's just starting to warp and crinkle a little bit. And it might do this a little bit more as I put it on the saxophone and, and try to play it. This won't sound good. I'm expecting it to sound bad. Now it sounds okay to me, but if I look at the end, I don't know if this is visible, but it, it's just a bit sort of warped. Now some reads you'll really see this, you'll see a sort of crinkly, um, wobbly line on the read. Now the reads just take a few minutes to settle down. So this is just something to accept. A lot of people, they set up, they go to play. Oh no, I don't like my sound. Is it, why doesn't it sound right? What's the problem? Actually, you just gotta warm up. So my, my real tip for today is, just warm up and don't worry about making a great sound just from the get-go, from the very first moment you start playing. You have to warm up. I'll probably do another video on what's a good warm-up to actually do, which is basically going to involve some long notes uh, in sort of mid-register. Um, but yeah, just, just how to get a better saxophone tone, be patient. Make sure you actually warm up. Don't worry about that really nasty buzzy sound that you might be getting or an airy sound, or, or just going a bit wild and out of control just when you first pick the instrument, instrument up from cold, especially with a reed that maybe has been lying asleep in the case for however long it is. Anyway, hopefully that's helpful to you. Check out my other videos, have a look on my website. Um, these videos with tips in hopefully are useful for you, but um, there's nothing like having an actual real teacher, so um, that's someone who can actually address your problems and things that you might be doing wrong and observe your techniques and very quickly just adjust things. So uh, the, these, hopefully these tips are useful, but um, if you need lessons, then do get in touch or get yourself a teacher because that's uh, going to make a big difference.